Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Michelle. If this is your first time watching, welcome. Today I'm doing a mock signing on just a loan mod, a loan modification. And that is just when a signer or a homeowner has fallen behind on their mortgage and the lender has agreed to help them keep from foreclosing on their home. So they modify their loan, hence loan modification, okay? Um, in this process, the homeowner has already talked to the bank or the lender, their loan officer, whoever they spoke with about the terms of this particular agreement. There's nothing that we should have to explain to them um, in this document. Again, remember as a notary, our job is to witness them sign the documents, okay? All right, so we're gonna get started with John and Jane Doe. We're gonna use a black pen because all my loan modifications and home equity lines usually require a black pen. That's why it's very important to read your notary instructions to ensure that you're using the right color ink, okay? Don't get through it or get home and realize, oh my goodness, I used the wrong color ink. So let's get started. Today is gonna to be John and Jane Doe. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Doe, may I have your ID, please? Great, thank you. All right, so today in these documents, you you will have to swear or affirm to the um, under the penalties of perjury that the information that you're gonna to provide today is true. To the best of your knowledge, the information contained within the documents are true and that you are signing these documents at your own free will. Is that true? You affirm, you swear? All right, all right, guys. So. If you can, I need you to fill out your address. I just need one address, one phone number, and two signatures. And I would love for you, both of you guys to go ahead in your perspective boxes and initial that you know that you are going to be under oath for the remainder of this sign-in. All right? All right. Thank you so very much for filling that out for me. All right. So I am showing that you guys are doing a loan modification for $21,448.40. Is that right? All right. And I'm showing here that your next payment will be due on July 1st. Okay. All right. So the first document that we're going to sign today is just your, um, your um, partial claim deed of trust. If you can look at in the document and just make sure that your names are spelled right. Does everything look good? All right. And it does show, um, it says the borrower owes lender the principal sum of $21,448.40. Um, so it shows what this partial D is for, okay? All right. So we will get to the signature page of this. And if you can sign your name as you see it listed below, and please date using the four digit year. All right. So this deed does have to be notarized so the notary will go ahead and notarize um the document and you want to make sure that their names are spelled right in here you're going to go ahead and sign put your expiration date and then you will notarize you will stamp that document okay all right guys the next document that you're going to sign is um your note the note is just your promise to pay back the $21,448.40, um, okay? All right, you're going to sign and then date using the four-digit year for me. And the last document that we're going to sign today is a correction agreement. This correction agreement just says that if there are any typographical errors, anything that needs to be um, corrected on these documents that you will work with the lender um, in a timely fashion to get these documents corrected, okay? All right, go ahead and sign and date for me. All right, thank you so very much. That wasn't too bad, was it? <laughs> All right, so I just wanna go back. I know that we only signed a couple documents, but I just wanna make sure that I didn't miss anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and just double check again, just to make sure. Everything looks good. Looks like we got everything. 
thank you so very much for um, your time. And um, I've uh, taken a picture of your ID. You can have your ID back. And that's a loan mod. I mean, very simple. Um, normally, there's like maybe four documents for them to sign. Maybe one document that you're going to notarize, which is going to be the deed of trust. It's, um, you know, there may be some um, loan modifications that may be a little bit thicker or bigger. I have not seen them. <laughs> All of them have has been about 20 pages, if that. So that's really it um, to a, a loan modification. Now, if your signer, you know, sometimes they don't know um, what is all entailed in this loan modification. They just know they talked to somebody, they said that's gonna keep them from foreclosing and they're gonna send a notary to sign some paperwork and you get there and they have no idea what's going on. So I have had that happen. In the event that that does happen, in your notary instructions, there will be a number for you to call and you just contact that person or you have them contact their loan officer to get clarity in, um, on this um, document because you don't want them just signing it and not feeling confident about what it is and still having questions about it um, because then, um, you know, I just, I just don't want to leave the table with somebody not knowing um, exactly what's going on, okay? So just have them call their loan officer if that happens. But that's a loan modification. So like the video, it was very short, like the video. Um, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and sign up and subscribe. I'm trying to get to my 10,000 subscribers before my birthday. So help me out with that, a little early birthday gift. All right, guys, so that's it. Loan modification, done. That's it.